nerd. I like him. Voices of Halo, Mikey Kelly. Hey, you bet it's the Dervish, and this is Le Voix du Halo. And did you know that the voice of the young Marines in Halo 3 are voiced by the original voice actor for Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank? Hey, check it out. No way! A Spartan? For real? You better not be. Oh man, he's here! We're gonna Where did you night. find him? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Yes sir, that's the guy. Mikey Kelly was born on November 14th, 1973 and raised in Quincy, Massachusetts. He is an American voice actor who graduated from Emerson College and specializes as an actor in animation, video games, and commercials. He landed his first major voiceover role when he was cast as the lead in Steven Spielberg's Invasion America, an animated miniseries which also featured Leonard Nimoy and Lorenzo Lamas. Besides his various commercial radio credits, Mikey Kelly's acting career is one of those tightly knit ones where he's best known for a handful of memorable roles. Oh, him. I couldn't find much about his personal life despite how hard I looked, so today's episode is going to be relatively short, I think. When it comes to his film credits, the list isn't quite as large as his television and commercial roles. I'll show you a few examples of every medium he's acted in, but I think it's worth noting that he's best known for a few main roles, namely as Michelangelo in 2007's TMNT, and as the original voice of Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. Before I get into the clips, I'm going to start with some trivia. I think something super cool that's worth noting are the fun little coincidences concerning Mikey Kelly's friendship and duality with fellow voice actor James Arnold Taylor. Like I said before, Mikey Kelly in the video game Zeitgeist is best known for being the iconic original voice of Ratchet from Insomniac's breakout hit series Ratchet and Clank. But, thanks to change in creative direction concerning the writers of Ratchet and Clank and all of its sequels, the role of Ratchet was passed on to James Arnold Taylor, whose voice was quite similar but just different enough in the character-driven sense that it worked better for the character narrative-wise. In the first game, Ratchet is super materialistic and laid back until his arc brings the character to a point in which he has grown in responsibility and learns that he should care more about others. This responsible change to the character is elevated in all future sequels thanks to the writing and thanks to the James Arnold Taylor's slightly clearer sounding voice and tidier take on the character. In short, Mikey Kelly played the more laid back version of the character until his arc was fulfilled. Ratchet became responsible and has been played by James Arnold Taylor ever since, sprawling nearly 20 games. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. Holy cow. I've died and gone to nerd heaven. Mikey Kelly did return to the Ratchet and Clank series very briefly, with a cameo in Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault as the voice of Barry, a shipboard AI. Computer, find me something to shoot! Sorry, dude, we got not on the radar. Have an awesome day, though. Another neat fact is that later on, the two actors would go on to star alongside each other in the 2007 film TMNT, together voicing two of the four turtles. Mikey Kelly voicing, well, Mikey, the laid-back one, and James Arnold Taylor voicing Leo, the responsible one. Who should be everybody's favorite turtle? Oh, come on. Michelangelo. He's the best. He's the funniest. Who should be everybody's favorite turtle? Who should, well, I would say Leonardo, of course, because Leo should be everybody's favorite turtle because he's the leader. He's the one that has all the training and all that. Deja vu. I've left a link to the full interview in the description. It's a very normal feel-good video, and I think it should do you all some good to see grown people packed together, passionately excited about the release of a kid's movie, especially in the middle of this pandemic. On to the clips. Here's two short clips of his notable film roles. Hey, Leo's back. Gotta just say hello before he leaves again. What? Leo! Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh? Leo? Is that really you? Yeah. I'm like dreaming, aren't I? No, Mikey. You're not dreaming. <laughs> oh, good. I have nightmares about birthday parties. Bill, you were my best friend. And my best student. But you didn't pick my project. What's that supposed to mean? Professor Kaufman chose your video design over mine, even though I've been here two years longer. 
He's also in the 2019 film The Highwayman, which is about Bonnie and Clyde. He plays a character named Clyde in the film, but apparently it's not THE Clyde, so I couldn't find a clip of him. Moving on to his list in television, the list is bigger. I'll keep it to the best stuff, though. Mom. Mom, what are you doing? Oh, David, I... I'm sorry, I just got lost, I guess. Mom, talk to me. He's been gone a long time. Who was he, anyway? Why do you keep him such a mystery? I will tell you when the time is right. 17 years old, Mom. I want to know. I've never even seen a picture of him. Just look in the mirror. Another member of Group 4, Freddie Adams, has worked alongside Kevin Kelly for the past four years. Right now, we're heading out to a report of an outside fire in the Fenway area. Your infinity sword is mine. I'll be unstoppable. Shake. Whoa! You call that fair? You are not a good guy. He mostly voices episode-specific characters across multiple different TV shows, so he appears maybe once or twice in every show he's in. I'll list a couple. He's voiced characters in Phineas and Ferb, Ben 10, King of the Hill, Gravity Falls, and many, many more. It's all there on Wikipedia if you're interested. Now to the good stuff, video game roles. I'll keep it to his better-known roles. Enjoy. Friendly neighborhood arch rival, but you're a little late. The ritual has begun. I know you. The name's Alistair. Nice punch back there, by the way. Dude, I think I leveled up. You're a, you're a dude, right? Wait, what? The arbiter just got wasted? Dude, are you okay? That was awful. Chief, can I be your friend? Does anyone know how to fix up those alien dudes? He also does additional voices for games such as Skate, Metal Gear Portable Ops, Sunset Overdrive, and various LEGO games. Here's a few bits of his roles in commercials. Ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to get a new word into the dictionary. Choco Smooth Rich Creamy Licious. Why? Because it's the only way to describe Nesquik chocolate milk, right? Excuse me, could, could you hand me a Pepsi, please? What do I look like? Hey, you're Britney Spears. <laughs> That's what they tell me. What are you doing in this convenience store? I was thirsty. You know, Britney, call me crazy, but I'm feeling some chemistry between us. Really? Oh, yeah. It's like this rush of cold air came over me. You feel it too, don't you? Nice finger. A wart could get used to this. Liquid wart remover. <laughs> That's all you got? That could take weeks to treat me. <laughs> keep focused on what's ahead. And keep yourself on course. Because almost finished inking the ball of yarn. Ball of yarn? For my cobra tattoo? <clears throat> cobra, you said kitten. Kitten? That doesn't sound anything like cobra! I wish there were more interviews of Mikey Kelly for me to share with you guys here, but besides his work, there's not many videos of the man himself online. It really bums me out, because from what I've seen, he's an absolute pleasure of a human being, and he seems like a sweetheart to watch. He's also up for hire, so if you want to offer a role to Mikey Kelly, I have a link to his YouTube channel and his website in the description. Everybody will be pleased. Now, how tough is it to connect to your character, or did you immediately know who this turtle was? Right away they said, you're gonna, you know, we want you to try out for Michelangelo. I'm like, game on, let's do this. And it's really, really funny, and they, you've probably heard from the other guys, we are so much like our characters, it's crazy. I mean, I'm the goofball, and Nolan's the, the, the no-nonsense guy, Raphael, and Leo, our leader, is James, and Mitchell is our little gadget nerd, and shouldn't say nerd, but he's Donatello, so it was very easy. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. All the love as always, Dervish. I've died and gone to nerd heaven. Shouldn't say nerd, but... Nerd. I like him. You can be my bodyguard. I can be your long-lost pal. I can call you baby.